Carl Mitchell, and this is your energy forecast, spiritual teaching, intuitive development, sometime numerology and enemy communication lesson for today, Friday, April the 3rd, as well as Saturday, April the 4th, 2015. As always, thank you so much, you guys. So today, um, the the message, I was walking around, there's a song, I forget who it's by, Train or somebody about, you know, I'm falling to pieces. And I was just singing that all of a sudden I said, why should we be falling to pieces, falling to pieces? And this is when spirit speaks to me. And, and this is when I realized spirit has always been talking to me with my odd song lyric changes and then just ideas that pop out of nowhere. But spirit said, rather than falling to pieces, allow the pieces to fall into place. And I just started thinking about that this morning in my quiet time. And I think, you know, a lot of times when things start to move and shift and change, you know, almost like an earthquake, we tighten up to hold it together and then it it even vibrates harder and it and it's like you know we're we're on a path we're set an intention we're co-creating and that's when it falls apart <clears throat> but what i feel like we should do is this is you know allowing and flow and all that good stuff but when we start to see things move relax into it and allow the pieces to fall into place and see what happens you know it's just it's it's just a different way of looking at it but it's also a different energy of it you know the whole thing of you know if you lose your job you know if you try to hold it together and you and you ah, but then all of a sudden you look back three months later and you go wow if I hadn't lost the job at that time I wouldn't have gained this job and these new friends and this new path and that's when the hindsight is 2020 let's flip our hindsight around so we can see ahead of time you know foresight foresight God, that sounds too close to something else. Um, but anyway, yeah, so we can see into the future, which is what I feel like I can do. So don't fall to pieces. Let the pieces fall into place. And so today is, first of all, today is number six. And six is about balancing, nurturing, service-oriented, responsibility. It can be about that marriage, divorce, domestic work, and family focus. Lenormand for today, the sixth day of the month, is going to be Anchor which is often what I am in situations and two people, and I accept that role um, gladly when I need to and when I'm supposed to. And the terror to go along with that anchor is the king of swords. Eh, that might be me today, um, might be somebody else. But so we're looking at that king of swords, that Libra, Gemini, Aquarius personality type, often our lawyers, policemen, detectives, mathematicians, engineers. Those are some of the things that a accountant, that a king of swords can be. But look to that person, or if you are that person, you know, be that, you know, air personality that's going to anchor things today. Moving into tomorrow, tomorrow's number seven. Seven is a day, seven was all last year. So seven is a day of analysis, research, um, you know, the technology, wisdom, <clears throat> spiritual focus, mysticism, metaphysics, you know, the things that I do. And then Lenormand for tomorrow, man, that could be me. Um, and I am going on vacation. So I am, you know, on a journey. And then the chair to go along with the man is the devil card. Ooh. So the devil card is often about being stuck or trapped in place. So look where you are trapped. Look where you are stuck. Look where you are fearful of moving forward. This could be about you if you're a man or about somebody else in your life that is a man. And the devil card is often about addiction. So this is definitely about a man or a male who is afraid to move forward, who is trapped, who is addicted, who is chained in place. So it's very interesting that we've got this male today that is anchored and then tomorrow a man that is trapped in place. So, and this 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 could be the same person in your life. It could be me, because I said that resonates with me. So tomorrow I will definitely be looking where I'm fearful, what I'm afraid to do and move forward while I'm on my vacation. So, um, very interesting note too, yesterday when I woke up and I realized all my scheduled vacations and my workshops, so there's two vacations and three workshops that I'm doing this year, and I realized they're all in my Eastern time zone. New York, Maine, Boston, Georgia, South Florida, where last year I was in Dallas, California, um, you know, Spain. So it's very interesting. I'm staying in the same time zone this year. So very fun. So I am gone on vacation very shortly. And um, when you read, when you hear this, yeah, I'll probably be already on the plane. So no videos until Saturday the 11th, but you'll see lots of posts and things like that on Instagram, Pinterest, um, Vine, too, and even and especially Facebook over the next couple of days. So look there. Um, we've got a wonderful guy staying at our house watching the animals and then another person that comes in middle of the day and feeds them. So all the animals, the doggies and cats will all be taken well care of while we're gone. So that's very important for me the animal communicator. So check out my website, intuitivemessenger.org. Have an amazing week. Chat with you later. Namaste. Bye-bye.